Airtable oil testing is taking a machine and running it through its operations to understand the cooling performance of the engine and the hydraulic, and the hydraulic system and the fuel system of our machines. We will we'll run every hydraulic system that we have from the wheels to the auxiliary system, everything involved um, to provide maximum load out of the vehicle. The boil part of an air to boil tank, of an air to boil test is really the boiling temperature of the liquids inside the system. So we increase the temperature of the room to approximately 110 degrees Fahrenheit and then we run the machine at a very high load, basically 90% of its load, and understand when will the system overheat. This is a very extreme test. The test is done to make sure that when an operator or a customer drives a machine, it will never overheat in any application that he does have. We work with all of our customers and our dealers and our commercial team to understand the true aspect of what our machine will be running out in the field, and that duty cycle, as we call it, um, that our customers will run, that is what we decide and ha decide how we're going to actually validate and run the machine in the irritable oil room or in our field tests. As we collect more data out in the field and as we reproduce that in simulation, the faster we can, we can come to uh, the results we need to you know, simulate what's out in the field. Minotaur is obviously a, a very new design for us, so we're, we're excited to be able to have that chance to um, see this new cooling system and um, see uh, the higher horsepower range that we, that we get to provide to the customer and to experience that. What we're simulating here is multiple things. One, we're simulating the, the ground drive with the dyno. We also take this dyno, we actually run hydraulic lines to the pump. So we're also simulating uh, the hydraulic load you'll get from actually going into a pile or driving with a uh, trencher or a cold planer, different types of attachment. And at the same time, we increase the temperature inside the room to the max temperature that this machine will actually see. Uh, with, so with the temperatures increase and also with the hydraulic inputs from the ground and also from the different attachments, we get to the extreme operations of what a customer will see. We don't really know how it's going to perform. The exciting part with Minotaur is actually getting out to the field and running field tests and dirt tests with the machine because nobody's ever created something like this, so we don't know how it's going to actually react. But once we get out there and actually run the machine, that's where the exciting part is. Can we actually do that? Can we actually take a CTL and, and a dozer and put them together and make one machine? We'll, we'll leverage the knowledge of the dozer platform, obviously the CTL platform, and ensure that what loads we're applying are going to be the best or worst case to prevent the customer from experiencing overheat conditions. I think every time we go through an innovation and we go through understanding uh, a new piece, a new technology, um, obviously those things can be driven back into uh, current products. Um, maybe it's a quality thing, maybe it's an innovation. Um, all of those things we learn from and, and definitely can, can benefit going forward in, in all of our products.